right, we're at an estate sale, and boy, did they have some bikes. I'll keep you posted. All right, so this is a 1969 uh, Schwinn Stingray that we picked up at that uh, bicycle estate sale. And no, it did not look like this, not even in the slightest. It uh, didn't come with a light, the, the Schwinn lights. It did not come with those uh, Chicago mags there. It was basically, uh, no seat. they had no seat. Basically, the, minus the wheels, the seat, and the light, and... Uh, Picture it with a ton of rust and dirt and grime. And that's what we picked up. But I got other stuff to show you. Uh, so this one here, we're waiting on a chain. You can see how nice that crank cleaned up. Those fenders, the rust is just about gone. Seat overall, you know, being what it is, fix that with a piece of duct tape. Maybe we'll get some white duct tape or even yellow duct tape or hell or blue duct tape. Anyway, the chrome cleaned up pretty damn nice. And uh, I had these white uh, Schwinn grips from another project from several years back, and I just held on to them. So that worked out really good. And then I will take you over to show you some other things that we bought. In fact, we picked up two more Stingrays. All right. Uh, these are two 1979 Schwinn Stingrays, according to the serial numbers, they're both manufactured in 79. Uh, and so this is the two-tone, as you can see here. And the little Stingray decals just about gone, but those are readily available. Seat actually is not too bad. Of course, the front always gets kind of tore up. Uh, the, both of them have their original S2s on there, which is no consolation price because they're kind of grimy. But they will clean up. I actually did a little test on one of these, and I'll show you that here in a minute. That is also 79, as I said. Uh, Two-tone, blue and gray. Uh, don't really care for that color uh, so much. But as you can see, chain guards are missing on both of these. The rear fender is missing on these. From what I can tell through the Schwinn catalog, these bikes here did not come with a front fender, but they did come with the little bobbed rear fender there. And this blue one has it. Now, uh, this one was complete except for the chain guard and now it has no seat because the seat just went on the uh, previous one I just showed you this one has no seat because it was the wrong seat anyway the seat that came on this bike looked just like that but in gray and blue so that seat that was on here that's on the 69 now actually belongs on an older stingray and let's see uh, these bars are wrong. Yes, they are Schwinn, but they're wrong. These are Schwinn bars. There's a Schwinn neck. But the bars that should be on here should be these right there. What I would call a mid-rise bar. Uh, shorter than a crate bar, but that's the correct bar for that. And I got some other stuff I need to show you. Uh, stay tuned. I also picked up a 1955, according to the serial number, Schwinn Black Phantom. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot more to this bike than what you're seeing. I've already started stripping this down to, to clean it, and I'm going to save the paint. There's another bike underneath there. We'll get to that in a second. But the paint on this thing is pretty dang good, but I've been struggling to get the neck out. So I'll, I'll work on that later. I was just kind of sidetracked with the one stingray there. And, uh, yeah, so hold on. So here's my fork for the um, Black Phantom disassembled. The paint actually looks pretty good on here. And I'm going to be cleaning all these bolts up. The crank just has surface rust. That started to come off with my finger right there, as you can see. And a very nice chain guard. Lucky me. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better than that because I'm not stripping this. It's going to all be original paint. These here are going to have to get some sort of, I don't know, Vapo rust. I don't know, guys. Leave it in a comment because I'm usually, usually I'm pretty good at cleaning chrome, but when it's this far gone, I don't know. 
So yeah, that was a 55, and this 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 uh, rust here, not bad. Bearings, the casings are a little rusty, but Vapo Rust will take care of that, and they're in, and they're intact. And the the chrome is actually still good on the uh, on the Arthur Schwinn bolts there, which I know a lot of people replace those because they're so bad. And this is the uh, fender, the mount for the fender that goes uh, at the bottom there. So when a spring or fork works. This is the, the fender has room to give. Glad that was there. And uh, all right, now let's go have a look at a 1949 auto cycle. All right, what we have here is a 1949 auto cycle. Has this beautiful Schwinn seat pan, well, complete seat that uh, it's not rusted through. So it'll be real easy to to uh, reupholster that, re recondition it, and reupholster it. I have some nice big cruiser period bars here, handlebars, the original crank, which is not so bad, the uh, rear rack, and a Springer fork. And this was a keyed model. What do I mean by that for you that, you, that don't know is uh, Schwinn used to offer you a key to lock your steering. I wish I could see it, but I don't have the key. But... See if you can see that right down there. See that keyhole right there? You can lock your steering like a motorcycle because these damn things are tanks. So if you got a steering lock, nobody's just going to roll off with that. So I'm not exactly sure which one of these projects I'm going to start next, but this could take years trying to source parts for this. Um, I know there's a lot of Chinese parts out there, you know, or, or repops. But, uh, I don't know, things like this here are uh, pretty fantastic. This stuff gets my juices flowing. This get, this makes me want to do projects. But in order to complete this, I would need a chain guard, a tank with horn, fenders, most importantly, wheels. You ain't going anywhere without wheels. And, uh, yeah, but th this bike is actually closer to hitting the road than the Black Phantom. Now, I could actually... Uh, I'll just have to decide which one I want to focus my energy on uh, first. But they're in my possession now. The most important thing is I found them. And uh, I'll just have to decide which one I'm going to work on first. In the meantime, uh, I may have to decide if I want to go with aftermarket rims just to get this project going along here. Because, you know, usually if you wait, you will find the parts. But... If you get too impatient, you can always just throw some modern 26-inch cruiser rims on here. All right, well, that's going to wrap this project up, this video up anyway. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be selling this one here. This is a uh, Typhoon I picked up. I think I put a video up. This is a repop tank. The Typhoon never had a tank, and it also, to the best of my ability, never had Springer forks. Uh, but... Somebody had already done that and put a new seat on it. So I think I'm going to throw this on Facebook Marketplace because I already re-greased both rims, the crank and the um, neck tube. So I made sure that was all working. And this thing rides really, really quiet. As you can hear, it's quiet. And it's complete. And it's a rider. It's ready to go. So, yeah. But I think I will be taking that tank off in case I need it for one of my other two bikes that I just pointed out. So yeah, all right, thanks for watching.